What's up guys, this is uh, Diego with Oat Designs. Uh, here we got a little advanced technique. We call it advanced. Um, I got this uh, Samsung uh, that was supposedly damaged by a lightning strike. Uh, we're going to be trying to get it going. Uh, well, not just get it going, but trying to troubleshoot it first to see what, what went wrong. Um, so, first things first, you're going to need a multimeter um, that reads uh, in voltages, um, continuity, and then uh, the diode. Um, you can get the little bit better ones with the, ca the capacitor, capacitance, uh, but this should be fine. Uh, so, first things first, whenever you hear anything about a lightning or power outage, you just want to check the the, the fuse here. It's usually right next to the the power socket. You want to go to uh, continuity. I, I usually just go to the middle one. I mean, I'm not too big into you know specifics, so we're just going to go from one end to the other end. Uh, basically, from one end, here's the fuse. Here looks just like a fuse. Other ones will have them kind of like this. Kind of like this great this orange one here small fuse so you have to check those from the back usually there's a, there's a squiggly line in the back here uh showing that that's a fuse where is it at right here so from here to here i believe yeah from here to here is a fuse so let's check it real quick and i have zero Zero means that there's no continuity, or I'm sorry, a one I have here. Um, I have an extra fuse here that I pulled out of a, a, another board. Measure this one, I have zero. Um, so I'll be switching this out and hopefully it doesn't pop on me. Um, and then we'll see. All right, just stand by for a second. All right, sorry about that, guys. So one thing I did not mention, um, is let me zoom in here real quick. The fuse that, that you apply on here, um, it says here uh, 5.0 amps at 250 volts. Make sure you just have the same reading of fuse here. I ended up pulling mine from another board that said the same thing at 5 uh, amps as well, 250 volts. Um, so just make sure you, you pull out of the same one. Um, you don't want to underpower. The or have an underpowered fuse that might pop uh, within once you power, plug it in. All right, well, I got it going here. Let's see if I can plug it in. One moment. All right, so I got the board back on there. Um, and I'm going to plug it in. Um, hopefully it doesn't pop. Hopefully it starts up. And... It popped. Um, in this case, usually uh, maybe the rectifier goes out there. Um, the best case scenario here is just to basically possibly replace the, the main uh, this power supply board. Uh, one thing that I can do is um, unplug the main board here, which is probably what I should have done. Unplug the main board, the LEDs. And power it on, see if it if it shorts out. But most likely, it's something within the board. If it's going to be a lightning strike, um, I will troubleshoot later on. As far as um, I'll probably unplug the main board and plug this and back in, see if it keeps popping. But we shall see. All right. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, subscribe, and uh, I'll come up with some more videos later on. All right, y'all take care.